Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 11 in the Did You Know series in which we'll be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know in WWE 2K20. As always, if there's anything you'd like to suggest to be covered in this series, then please do leave a comment below and you could see your suggestion featured in a future episode. Did you know that patch 1.02 fixed the ability to switch between tag team partners? Prior to update patch 1.02, unlike in past years, there was no way for players to switch between tag team partners during matches without first having to pause the game and then manually switch players under controller assignment. Now though, following the patch, 2K fixed the ability to switch partners during matches as should you press the touchpad on PlayStation or the select button on Xbox, then this now sees control passed between partners allowing you to instantly take control of either which can come in really useful for breaking up pinfalls instead of having to rely on the computer. Did you know that 2K have updated the blood mechanic so that it now smears across the face? This one comes from Bazisoft to reveal something you might not know as not only is blood turned off by default and needs to be manually enabled under gameplay options but this year the appearance of blood has also been updated. Once turned on, should you continuously target your opponent's head either with regular moves or weapon attacks then this will see the screen flash red to indicate they've been busted open leading to new blood mechanics kicking in that see the blood trickling down from the forehead and then randomly splattered over the nose and ears rather than the old animation that seen one cut appear on the forehead which would then continue to grow throughout the match. Did you know there is unique versus commentary when playing matches with Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey? This one comes from Nightmare Club who reveals the presence of unique commentary that takes place when having Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey square off as you can hear the commentary team discussing their Wrestlemania match and how Ronda is out to avenge her loss. The vicious war of words between Becky Lynch and Ronda Rousey has continued across social media and sports talk shows everywhere. Now is time to settle the score. I won't take anything away from the man's victory at WrestleMania, but Becky needs to slow her roll. Just because she beat Ronda once doesn't guarantee a victory here. For Ronda Rousey, this match represents unfinished business as she is set to bring down the man. There is a big fight feel. Becky was the first woman to pin Ronda Rousey in WWE. Rousey looks at any opportunity to fight the man as a way to avenge that loss at WrestleMania. It all comes down to this. Neither of these women need additional motivation. They possess a mutual disdain for one another, but the man must be prepared to take on a Ronda Rousey that is hungrier than we have ever seen her. Two of the top superstars in WWE are about to throw down. We'll see if Lynch can fend off a Ronda Rousey who looks to remind the man that she is the baddest woman on the planet. Not only does this unique audio take place during the match, but you can also hear exclusive commentary following the match whilst the winner is celebrating. Becky Lynch just defeated the baddest woman on the planet and the look on Ronda Rousey's face tells the story. Both women are exhausted. What a triumph for Becky Lynch. Tonight there is no doubt about it. The man stands tall. Ronda remained poised under pressure and waited to seize her opportunity. And when she did, there was no looking back. Well, besides the obvious disappointment and anguish, this is a huge setback for Becky Lynch. This night is all about Ronda Rousey. Did you know that Mustache Mountain have a unique tag team finisher that can't be assigned in Create a Moveset? This one comes from Joshua Salvador who reveals the addition of an exclusive tag team finisher for Trent Seven and Tyler Bate as despite not being listed in the list of available tag team finishers, should you check out their assigned finisher and create a moveset then you'll notice they're assigned this new assisted burning hammer which isn't available for selection and is exclusive to the pair. Tag made. Bad intentions in mind. Did you know it's possible to use the transparency glitch to create new hairstyles and attire parts? This one comes from War Machine 169 who reveals another use for the transparency glitch that we covered in the previous episode as not only can it be used in conjunction with headwear to remove hair and beards but it's also possible to use it to customise hairstyles that feature multiple colours leaving you with alternate styles. For example, should you use it with Seth Rollins old hairstyle then this allows you to create a new style featuring hair on just the one side or you could use it with the mohawk options to create a new version with less hair. 
How useful this trick is depends on the hairstyle that you're using, as some hairstyles look a mess when making parts invisible, however other ones can prove to be somewhat useful. Additionally, when setting up the transparency glitch, something else you can try is moving the slider halfway instead of all the way, as this will allow you to have a semi-transparent colour added to your list of previous colours, which you can then use to make hairstyles see-through, giving off the illusion of thinning hair, which again could prove useful for certain creations. Finally, this trick also works on certain attire parts such as masks and face paints, allowing you to customise certain elements by making parts invisible, creating brand new items. So there you go, that was 5 things you might not know in WWE 2K20. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then you can check out the previous video here, or alternately you can subscribe to the channel and enable notifications for more Did You Know videos each and every week. Until then though, have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.